How do you move in between maps? In the last video, I asked you to make a couple maps for yourself, but even if you didn't, they don't have to be super detailed. In fact, you could use even less detail than I'm using and make a few squares with entry points. It really doesn't matter. Right beside the map editing tool at the top of the screen is an option to take map editing off and change over to objects. To put it as simply as I can, objects let you do all the things that you would normally require code for, but since RPG Maker MZ does most of the work for you, you just need to know what you're looking for. You can either right click, new, to bring up the event editor, which is how the majority of our actions are done. For this specific video though, I'm going to show you an even easier way. If you right click the screen and click on quick event creation, you'll notice a few basic events we could choose from. For now, let's click transfer. A window will pop up with a location and a direction section. Location simply means where you want to transfer to. The direction means which direction you want your character to be facing when transferring. We're just going to keep direction on retain for now. You'll notice that even though we have it set for us to move to the second map, we don't have a way back, so let's set that up real quick. And since we left the direction on retain, our character looks a little weird if we approach the transfer from a different direction. So let's change that to the direction we want now. Rather than recreating the event, which you could do, we're going to edit it so we can see what the quick action created for us. We could change the sound effects too while we're editing the transfer, so let's pick our own sound. Alright, so you'll notice everything's working as intended now. Before you leave, I have one more thing to show you. Have you ever played The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? I highly recommend it. It's a great game, but there's a specific forest in that game that acts as a puzzle. You have to figure out what path will lead you to the end of the forest, and if you make a mistake, you're sent back to the beginning. You'll see that with that one little thing you learned today, you could make your own version of the Lost Woods. So I leave you with this. Even the most simple things have many uses. So learn these fundamentals well. It's the small stuff you learn now that makes all the difference later.